robotic prostatectomy has been around for quite a while, um, but uh, has not been studied with very high level of evidence. There's been no randomized trials. There's been no large cohort studies that evaluate it, um, evaluated it. And so our study wanted to look and see if we could glean from some other studies that have been done information about the relationship between open and robotic surgery. So we took data from uh, two very large prospective cohort studies uh, that were funded uh, uh, by the uh, industry funded, or not industry funded, but funded studies. And um, one of them started in the mid 90s and the other one started in 2011, 2012. And the unique thing about it is that in 1990s there was no robot around and in 2011-2012 it was predominantly robotic surgery. So it's allowed us to compare um, outcomes from studies that were predominated by a single um, type of surgery. Whereas if we were to try a cohort study now, we'd face a lot of selection bias because there's, uh, robotic surgery is so dominant. And we found that um, uh, prior, uh, or in contrary to what we were expecting to see, we found that there was a significant benefit for those undergoing robotic surgery, um, especially for sexual function. Um, urinary function, we did find a statistically significant difference, um, but it may not be clinically meaningful, meaning it is small enough for us to detect with a large population, but we can't necessarily say that any given patient going to make a, is going to be able to tell a difference.